Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ayla Grawal. I am a final year undergraduate at IIT Gandhinagar. I have received so many comments related to this one particular topic asking me that which language should we code in? Which language should we learn? Right? Which language is the best? Is it C++ or is it Java or is it Python or is it JavaScript? Which is the right language to choose? So here I am to clarify all your doubts and I will make sure that after watching this video, you will know which language to code in, which language to learn and which language will be the best for you. So the choice of language actually depends on the type of thing which you want to do. Let's say if you want to learn data structure and algorithms, the choice will be different. If you want to do comparative programming, the choice will be different. If you want to do, let's say, development, the choice will be different. And if you want to data science or machine learning or those things, the choice will be absolutely different. So we will deep dive into each topic and I will tell you which is the best language which you can choose if you want to, let's say, practice data structure and algorithms or if you want to go into development side, I will tell you the best language. If you think that this guy is adding some value in my life, do consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel and you can also share this video with your friends who want to consume such similar content and you can also write up in the comment section that what kind of videos do you want in the future and if you have any doubts you can ask me I will definitely try to answer. So let's start the video. So let's say we start with data structure and algorithms. If you are a person who want to learn problem solving and solve questions related to DSA for internships and placements, there is a huge confusion between two languages, which is C++ and Java. So hear me carefully, both languages are absolutely fine. You can choose any one of them. So let's say there are two person, person A and person B. Person A is someone who has a prior knowledge of some language, let's say C++. So that person should continue with C++. If you have some prior knowledge of Java, then you should continue with Java. If you're person B who doesn't know any language, who doesn't know anything related to coding, then just take a coin, flip that coin, whichever language comes on the top, choose that language because C++ and Java are absolutely fine for learning DSA. You have many, many ample of resources for both of these languages. So please don't get confused. Let's say if you are doing in C++, your friend is doing in uh, Java, you want to switch to Java. Don't do those sort of things because both the languages are, uh, you know, quite useful and there are ample of resources for both of them. So you can choose any one of them. But okay, if you want me to tell one language which you should choose, I would suggest, this is my personal bias and opinion that you should go with C++, okay? If you don't know any language, let's say if you have some basic knowledge of Java, go with Java, okay? But if you don't know any language, go with C++ because there is a very a beautiful concept in C++ known as standard template libraries, which makes your life very easy. So you can go with C++, there are many resources of C++. So I personally, you know, solved all the data structure and algorithm problems in C++, my whole coding journey, I did only in C++. So there is a personal bias in C++, there is, there is, there is some personal bias uh, from my side towards C++, but you can choose any one of those C++ or Java for solving data structure and algorithm problems. Now let's say if someone comes up and says that I know Python and I want to solve DSA problems in Python, that is also absolutely fine man. I know many of my friends who solve DSA problems in Python and they have uh, cracked good internships and placements. So it is absolutely fine. Python is again, uh, similar you have ample resources for python as well and one thing is there that if you know language a switching to language b or learning language b becomes very simple if you know c plus plus learning java is not a task of more than two weeks don't worry choose any one language and you uh, just stick to that language and solve dsa problems you will be fine when you are learning a language there is a very important concept called object oriented programming which you should know and is frequently asked in interview rounds so i have come up with my own course of object oriented programming system in the language C++. The link is in the description, you can check it out. And already 15 students have enrolled in the course and are enjoying the content. An early bird offer is available till 31st of December. So you can take the benefit of that. Go check the link in the description. And if you like the content, you can take up the course. The course will be live from 1st of January and we will also have some live doubt sessions with me. So if you're interested in the course and want to, you know, take your preparation one step ahead, then you can choose the course and you will not regret. It will definitely help you in interview rounds. Let's say you are a person who want to start comparative programming, then there is no question that you should go with the language C++. So most of the people will uh, come to me and say, okay, I know Java. So should I now switch to C++? I would say, yes, you should switch to C++ because 
द पीपल हु डू कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन इन द लैंग्वेज सी प्लस प्लस एंड देर आर एम्पल रिसोर्स अवेलेबल इन सी प्लस प्लस एंड देर इज अ वेरी अगेन ब्यूटिफुल कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज एस टी एल इन सी प्लस प्लस विच मेक्स योर लाइफ वेरी ईजी सो यू शुड ऑप्ट फॉर सी प्लस प्लस इफ यू आर डूइंग कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग आई पर्सनली सॉल्व आर मोर दैन फोर हंड्रेड प्रॉब्लम्स डूइंग सी पी इन सी प्लस प्लस सी प्लस प्लस इज अ गो टू लैंग्वेज फॉर सी पी डोंट लुक एट एनी अदर लैंग्वेज नेक्स्ट कम्स मशीन लर्निंग एंड डेटा साइंस इफ यू आर अ पर्सन हु इज इन टू मशीन लर्निंग एंड डेटा साइंस एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस यू कॉन्ट लुक टू एनी अदर लैंग्वेज एक्सेप्ट पाइथन राइट पाइथन इज द गो टू लैंग्वेज फॉर लर्निंग मशीन लर्निंग एंड पाइथन इज ऑल्सो वेरी सिंपल लैंग्वेज इफ यू आर अ पर्सन हु डजेंट नो कोडिंग एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट विद सम लैंग्वेज आई वुड सजेस्ट पाइथन बिकॉज पाइथन इज जस्ट वेरी नियर टू सिंपल इंग्लिश इट इज वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड Uh, when you compare it with java or c++ mainly i would say c++ there are many difficult concepts involved in c++ but if you see python it is quite near to simple english it is very easy to understand it is very easy to start with so if you are a machine learning enthusiast python is the go to language and let's say if you are doing machine learning side by side you also want to solve dsa problems then python is okay as i said before solving dsa questions in any of the three languages c++ java or python is is exactly the same you can choose any one of them there are ample of free resources paid resources available for all the three languages i have made a video before uh, on the best free resources available for learning dsa in all the three languages you can check it out okay so python is uh, the best for machine learning don't look at any other language now let's say if you are into web development so the go to language for learning web development is javascript you can learn node js which is used for making servers you can learn react js which is a front end framework right with javascript you can you know practice both front end and back end development and most of the companies use javascript for development so if you know javascript then you will be uh, you know in a good position as soon as you enter a company because you would be aware of javascript so if you want to you know do development javascript is the go to language which you should choose and many people when they are deciding between c++ and java tend to choose java because in most of the product based companies in most of the multinational companies java is used like my personal experience i can say that i solved more than 1000 problems in c++ i you know learned c++ in my 11th and 12th grade then i came to college i did my programming only in c++ and then when i you know Uh, went for my summer internship by de shaw i was exposed to a huge java and python code base so but because my fundamentals of c++ were very clear i was able to you know comfortably switch to uh, those two languages it, it was not a big problem for me so as i had said pick one particular language and be a master of that if you will do this it won't be a problem for you to switch to any other language because the problem solving is important the mindset is important the logic building is important the syntax is not that important language is just a means of communication with the computer if you know what to do the language is simple if you know what to write you just need to you know search the syntax on google and you will be able to write okay the most important thing is to develop a logic the most important thing is to develop your problem solving skills so focus on that part don't focus on language don't focus on the syntax part right man pick up one language focus on the problem solving part focus on the logic building part focus on how uh, you are thinking about a problem how you are approaching a problem focus on that that is the main skill which the world needs the world does not need you to know five different languages the world needs you to know one particular language and master that and then if someone asks you that can you switch to any other language yes you will be able to because the 90% portion is about problem solving the 90% portion is about logic building only the 10% part is knowing the syntax right knowing the syntax is very easy the difficult part is problem solving logic building right so focus on that that's it for this video we will meet in the next one and also do check out my hoops course the link is in the description already 15 students have enrolled so you can also check the content and if you like it you can enroll uh, we will meet in the live doubt sessions in the month of january uh, till then stay healthy and keep growing